Hey guys and gals, this is Nathan, and we're starting up a new series today, and I think we'll call it, um, call it Coloring 101. Why not? Uh, it's simple generic, but it gets it gets to the point. It's for uh, it's a new series about for uh, for beginners, people starting off wanting to learn how to comic book color. Uh, when I first started off my channel, the idea behind it was advanced color techniques, and for uh, people that have done maybe Photoshop coloring before have some you know more experience with Photoshop, uh, but they're not quite at that professional level. I just wanted I just felt like there wasn't a niche. Uh, for those people, there's plenty of, uh, you know, beginning videos, uh, you know, here's, here's how you do your liner, here's how you do your flats, uh, basic stuff like that. And I just wanted to help teach people more about color itself and how that can, all these different techniques to help push your stuff to that next level, you know, to help you get noticed more and just, you know, simple little tweaks here and there. Um, but it's turned into a lot more than that. <laughs> um, I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of requests lately to do uh, beginning tutorials, uh, a lot of simple questions being asked and stuff. And you know, looking around YouTube, and it seems like a lot of people that were uh, covering a lot of this stuff have either stopped, uh, moved on to something else, or uh, weren't, I guess, very good at explaining certain stuff. I don't know, but I, I get a lot, like, people, for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> Try not to sound, like, all big-headed, but uh, a lot of people uh, get comments or uh, messages. They like the way I go through stuff, the way I explain stuff. Uh, makes it a lot easier for them to understand. Um, so I think it'd be fair. I think, you know, we have enough people that are, that'll are that watch it. So, yeah, combo coloring one-on-one. Um, to do this... I'm gonna I'm gonna start off by saying this series will probably be pretty dull. Um, There's not gonna be like a whole lot of exciting stuff going on, and it's gonna be a lot of work for you guys. And you know, if you decide to 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 keep up and do the exercises that I that I'm uh, that I'm making uh, and everything, uh, it's it's. I, um, <laughs> try to think the best way to put it the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it i know some of the stuff that i'll, I'll have uh you'll be like oh i already know how to do that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put in that extra work uh you'll be paying for it later on uh while everybody else is going going along with these exercises that i'm putting together they'll be they'll understand even though it could be the most simplest thing they'll understand why that works, why this works a lot better than the people that don't do the exercises, I guess. Um, yeah, so I, th I think that explains it. I don't know. If it doesn't, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll, I'll try and clarify. But I think as we're going through this, I think you guys will understand uh, exactly what I'm getting at. And you have, you have to remember, you have to learn how to crawl before you could before you could walk you have to learn how to walk before you can run you gotta you know so it goes on and on and on and comic book coloring kind of works that same way as well especially with the you know photoshop and and these other programs that we have nowadays you have to learn the basics of them so oh, there goes the ac kicking in let's see if i can move this microphone a little bit closer here hopefully that helps drown that out a little bit more um so I put together a couple files, and I'll have these uh, up in my DeviantArt account, and I'll put the description in the uh, well, yeah I'll put the description in the links. No, actually I'll put the links in the description for you guys. What we have is just some basic shapes, you know, superhero shapes or or what have you. And the exercise I want you guys to do is just play with the lasso tool, and you know, understand how it works. I have uh, another video, I forgot which one it was, Tips and Tricks, episode eight, maybe? I'll, I'll put the description, uh, pff, there I go again. I'll put the link in the description as well for that. It's the uh, the shortcuts video. And it ex there's a there's a good bit about in there that explains the, the lasso tool. And uh, you can see here, uh, yeah, here we go, up at the top. I'm just using the regular lasso tool. A lot of people switch between, you know, the po polygonal lasso tool, uh, but we don't have to do that. 
me see. Get this closer in. Um, see if I'm just holding L. Like I, I can draw with it, but the moment I pick up my stylus, it's gonna it's gonna snap. Where the polygonal tool won't do that. I think you have to hold shift or something or uh, control or command. I can't remember what it was. You know, it's like an extra step involved, and we don't need to do that because we can hold down. Uh, you know, the alt or uh, option key. Oops, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. I can't remember how to... It's, once I start thinking about it and trying to put it into words, it doesn't really work for me. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So that's like holding down the alt uh, option key. Now I can pick that up. And it works just like the just like the polygonal. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and, and watch that uh, that video. Um, I'll try and do like a time code on it as well, so it's, it goes right to the uh, right to the bit where I'm talking about the lasso tool. But definitely for all the shortcuts that I go through, it's 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 really helpful. So yeah, I could go through you know just like I would with a polygonal, you know. But at the same time, I can I can just hold down and I can draw with it as well. So that's really going to speed you up. Um, but yeah, these outlines that I put together, some of you might recognize, you know, others not. I'm trying to keep it as vague as possible. Um, but yeah, what I want you guys to do is just go through here and, you know, just practice, you know, with your with your lasso tool. You know, hold shift, like to add more, more to the shape. You know, that way there you don't have to get through the whole thing and then mess it up and then you lose your whole selection or anything. So, so yeah, we're just going to go through. You know, and I highly recommend, uh, you know, if you want to get better and faster and faster with it, you know, go ahead and keep a timer off to the side, uh, you know, on your phone or just watch the timer on your, on your, uh, on your computer as you're working. Uh, you know, just see if you can, you know, I'm going to finish up, you know, Spider-Man here this time. Uh, you know, maybe I might finish him in, I don't know, three minutes or, you know, what have you. Next time, let me go ahead and, and speed up a little bit more. You know, you get more and more comfortable with controlling your stylus and moving around the canvas. Uh, you know, it's going to be a lot faster and you'll be able to go through it a lot quicker. And a lot of the comic book coloring, it is based off of selecting stuff. You know, if you're going to do your flats... You know, you're going to have to learn how to, you know, select, deselect, uh, make multiple selections, make multiple deselections. Uh, so, it's again, it's like one of those really basic uh, building blocks. You know, you want to have like that really good, strong foundation uh, before, uh, before you, you can move on to the next step. But right here, I mean, I did the... I did these shapes on purposefully, where it's like there's nothing you have to go in and deselect in the meantime uh, okay so we have our selection done you know so hopefully we have like our time uh, how long that took or whatever and what I want you to do is just go ahead and deselect it <laughs> you know just hit uh, command D on a Mac or control D on a, on a PC just get rid of it you know or if you want to if you have it you know just click down over here and that'll it'll disappear and you know what? Go back and, and do that Spider-Man selection again. And deselect it again. Go back and do it again. And that's the only way that you're going to get quicker and faster. Uh, it seems like everybody wants, you know, instant feedback from everybody else. Here's a sketch that I did. You know, let me post that on DeviantArt real quick. Hey, what does everybody think about it? Oh, nobody answered. So I'm not going to continue on. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not getting that feedback from people. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, if you put in the work on your own, you'll see the results. It doesn't matter if people are there, you know, uh, telling you how great you are or whatever, because it, it, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't actually show you how much talent you have. You know, you'll have to just go in there, put in the hard work. There is no easy answers for it. And uh, so what I have for this week is I have uh, two different outlines two sets of outlines, you know, stuff we might see, you know, while we're coloring comic books, uh, you know, tree, cloud, a sword, here's a gun, a convertible, a dinosaur, 
you know, other other shapes, um, and just go through there and and do it. Uh, let's see, like before I had my uh, my Spider Man. I think I got rid of it. No, I guess I guess it's long gone. Uh, yeah. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, what we can do is like we, if we want to have like a you know another layer underneath it or something and after you've got it done you know you could just fill it in you know time yourself like that oops uh, you know but we'll we'll be we'll be covering that you know doing fills and and everything uh it probably in the in the next video so go ahead and keep keep doing this and I don't know, maybe, you know, try and do, try and get your time down, you know, as low as you can. Uh, tell us in the comments, you know, how fast you're able to do the whole page. Uh, you know, maybe we could do like a, a quick time uh, uh, competition, you know, you, you could be the fastest or whatever. But as you're trying to beat your time, also be nice and neat about it. <laughs> you know, it's a, I've gotten, you know, a lot of people that could do really good, you know, well, really fast flats. But then I look at them, they're really sloppy, and I still have to go in and, and do a lot of cleanup and everything. So not only do you want to be fast, you want to be clean. And, you know, you want to, you want to have a you know, nice-looking job when you're done with it. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, yeah, just take your time, baby steps first, and we'll get to the good stuff after a while. Uh, so, yeah, stick with me. And if you like where we're going with this, go hit the like button. And if you don't, you know, leave a comment. Tell me, you know, what else you would like to see me cover. And, um, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And if you are, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.